Hey guys, uh, good afternoon. It's Angelo Christian Financial. Thank you so much for watching Real Estate Insider, our podcast. You know, we've been doing this for over six years now on our YouTube channel. Uh, I think we've shot, I think over 700 and some videos, something like that. Uh, Jeff can correct me if I'm wrong. And uh, today we're talking about how to get actually two FHA loans. Did you actually know you can actually have more than one FHA loan? You can actually have two FHA loans. And today Angelo is going to show you guys out there how you can get your second FHA loan. A lot of people think that they can only get one FHA loan when they're buying a house. It's actually not true. You can actually get two FHA loans. I'm going to show you how. Now, remember, we are a nationwide lender, so you can call or text us at 832-431-6331. It's where America goes for funding, guys. For almost nearly 20 years, we've been proudly serving America, helping tens of thousands of people with their residential and commercial mortgage needs. So call or text me if we can help you. And today, yes, these are some of the uh, requirements if you're trying to get an FHA loan, you can actually get a second FHA loan on top of that. You don't have to sell your current property, uh, but you have to meet some specific requirements in order to have two FHA loans at the same time. So the first thing that obviously matters is you have to have at least a 640 or higher middle score. So your middle credit score has to be 640 or higher. Okay, now this is obviously a fully documented loan with either tax returns or W-2s, pay stubs, bank statements, so you have to disclose that to the lender uh, for your last two years of income. The other thing is that um, if you got transferred, one of the things that the underwriter is going to ask you, well, why, why, are you get, why do you need a second uh, FHA loan? Sometimes if you got transferred, let's say you, you're working in Houston, right, and then you got transferred to Dallas. Well, one of the requirements to have two FHA loans is it has to be 100 miles apart. So obviously Houston to Dallas is more than 100 miles. So the, the, tra the, the separation from the current FHA property to the new FHA property has to be over 100 miles in order to meet that requirement to have two FHA loans. So maybe you got a job transfer, get me a job transfer letter, an offer letter from your new employer so you can use that, right? Um, the other pro the property that you currently owned, if you're gonna omit that from your debt ratio, the mortgage, your current FHA mortgage, you have to show a lease. Now, the thing is that with FHA, it's not strong enough just to give me a lease to omit it out of your debt ratio. It also has to be claimed on your tax returns in order to omit that out of your debt ratio, okay? So, so what am I saying? That means that if you just leased out the house a month ago, they're gonna and count that into your debt ratio to make you qualify. So, but if it's been on your tax returns, it'll give you 75% credit for your rental income on your tax returns. So these are the main requirements to get an FHA loan. You could do this anywhere in the country. Remember, we're a nationwide lender. So let's say you know you had an FHA loan, a property in California, you got transferred to Florida, you got transferred to Texas, no problem. We get you another FHA loan. It's totally legitimate. A lot of lenders don't do this. We do this here. So call or text me at 832-431-6331 and give us a thumbs up. If love, love us on our YouTube channel, push this out to everyone on Instagram and YouTube. And if you know anyone that's trying to get an FHA loan, please refer them to give us a call at 832-431-6331 and check out my next video. And thank you so much. Bye-bye.